Well, guys, I have some bad news. It does come with some good news, though. Season 2 of Rocket League starts on December 9th, which is just under a week away. Which you guys know, if, if you guys have been following the series, we're not making it a Super Sonic Legend. At least not in this season. So unfortunately, this will come to a close, but I think I'll continue off the Road to Super Sonic Legend series where I left off in this season. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that's a good idea. Um, I don't really want to restart the whole Road to Super Sonic Legends series. I think we're, we've got a good train of thought here. And if you are a new player that is watching the series for the first time, I think it's good that you can go watch back in bronze, silver, or gold to get some tips. And we'll just keep moving through platinum and onwards. Um, and thank you to Y, as my name is definitely not Lethemir, with a normal Lethemir photo. So here I am playing as not me. Let's see if anyone uh, catches me in the act. So we're gold three division one as we left off in the last episode. Let's get right back into it and see how, where we end off. All right, we got our first game. We've got King Vortex on my team versus two, uh, I guess one, possibly an Xbox player. Well, that's one Xbox player for sure. You can't have spaces on uh, PS4 or five. Um, so this ball's on the wall here. See that my teammate wants to challenge, it's fine. I'm gonna wait in mid here as well. Pop across, it works. Um, but I do want to just talk about one little thing. You know, I, I wouldn't say I'm slacking by any means, but I haven't really put this this series as my main focus on the channel. Obviously, I've been creating a lot new a lot of new maps like the sling puck and the air hockey table. Um, I'm just gonna pop that towards net. Um, so we have time to talk about this. Um, I've been obviously hard at work making other maps, but I'll give a little bit of a sneak peek photo. Of something I've been working on uh, that's coming out quite soon. Uh, not going to be giving any any big hints away, but there's an event coming up that I might be making something for. And the guy left. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you guys if you guys figured out what this uh, this photo means or what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for you guys to see how this turns out. Uh, I have announced in my last comment of the last video that Among Us in Rocket League will be on my channel on the 14th. So I'm not sure if it will be public yet, but it'll definitely be out on my channel um, by the 14th, which is very, very exciting. As far as uh, exciting goes, this is a 1v2 for him. So I'm just probably gonna skip to the next game. <laughs> Oh, he finally left. <laughs> it took like eight to 10 demos to finally make him leave, but we did it. All right, we're back into the series here. Sorry about that little uh, interlude, but we're back into the series. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. It's moving into December season. We got some uh, some snow up here. I'm excited to uh, show you guys all the winter events I have planned. All right, we got Jay Numbers and Jimmy <laughs> and RF, RF Daju. So I, I got the ball here. I got some space. The opponent's coming in for a 50-50. You can see I'm just jumping late. That way his challenge comes through early. And I end up getting the win. Because you want it to bounce, the ball to bounce off my car after he hits it. Okay, a bit of a miss. So I'm just going to stay with this close again. Once again, I'm just going to stay close on the side. The player's way out of position. Hopefully this bounce up mid can give my teammates some space. Good try. You know, in those situations where he takes that shot, if he just takes a little more time to loop wide for the goal, you want to get from, you want to basically point your nose between the ball and the goal like this. I'm pointing my nose in the way that makes it towards the goal. Like right here, that's just going to go to the corner if you jump there. If you jump jump from where I am, then you can hit it towards the goal and make more pressure. It's a very common mistake. Okay, so they're all over the ball right now, but they're a little slow and they look like they have zero boost, so... I'm going to make a challenge. My teammate's pretty close. A lot of panic. There's a lot more space to use. Same here. Lots of space. Doesn't need to boom it. It's okay, though. See what he's got off this touch. He's going for the aerial. Good pass. I'm just faking that because it's a little bit dangerous. I'm going to make a shot. Top corner there. So, the reason why I don't challenge there is because look at how far my teammate is committed. He's very, very out of place. And if Jay beats me to that left wall there... Uh, it's way open space for their team to just take over and make a goal. So that's one of those things you can do even at this low level is you just use your brain a little bit to fake out the opponents. 
you'll be in a big advantage. And I've talked about this lots in the series. You can probably watch it a lot of the a lot of it back. But you can see I'm just gonna wait because that touch is useless. Um, and it goes back to the whole red, red light green light strategy I talked about. I think that was in episode 13. It might have been 12. But anyway, let's see what Daju's got. He's got, he's stuck in this mid in this corner. Wait for his move. They're still pretty close to the ball, so. I'll let my teammate do whatever he wants, and now I'm going to move in mid, and they missed the ball, so that's a free free clear there. You know, if you just take your time, make sure you're patient, see what happens of this. I can tell that that ball is pretty hard to read for them, so I just wait underneath, and we get the free goal. And Jimmy left, and that's the forfeit. <laughs> oh my goodness. We keep getting forfeits, man, so we're going to be moving up quite quick. Maybe we can actually make it to Super Sonic Legends series. I'm obviously joking, but... You know, we're maybe moving closer to plat than I expected in this episode. If these games are going to go by so quickly. This teammate might not be here. I'm going to hug him for a little bit. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Wake up. Come on, man. He's back. I woke him up. Get in there. Yeah. Let's go. All right. That's fine. Oh, he's taking over. He's taking over. Close. <laughs> All right, we'll come back here and get this corner boost. Make sure we stay with the ball. Taking over, taking over. Keep going. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. Yeah, yeah. You need to boost, buddy. Go, go get your boost. Come by, come back in. Go for it. So uh, this is a. We've talked about these kind of players. The the one v one player existing in two v two. So here we go. Make a pop towards goal, and there's a the shot. So I just waited for my opportunity. I think my teammate touched it 50 times. I touched it once and I made a goal. <laughs> it's a good pass from him though. And you can see, yeah, yeah, you're, you're good, buddy. You're all good. Oh. <laughs> what? I guess he wants me to go. Yep. This guy's a, this guy's a talking, talking Ted. Let's see, I got some room in the corner here. Teammate might touch it. Yep, as I expected. That's okay. I'm going to be the bigger person once again. Just stay with the ball. Bring it across. He might cut it. Wait for the flick. Good, ch good fake challenge. That's good. Oh, maybe a shot. Is this guy, is this guy a smurf? These turns seem very, very accurate. Huh. That's a strange, strange player we've got in our hands. Feels like he's like smurfing and trolling a little bit. But I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, gold has been the weirdest, as you've seen in my previous episodes, gold has been the weirdest rank so far. This guy seems pretty fast. All right, good touch from A-Bomb. He's a close in the corner. Okay. I think he's smurfing. Yeah, he is. What's your real rank? Let's see what he says. We're doing some, we're doing some investigating work. What? What is, what is that response? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird rank. Oh, 184 ping. I guess that's. <laughs> I guess that's what he means. Maybe he just like loses a lot of games because of his internet. Interesting. Well, I got another forfeit there. I didn't really do too much, and we'll move on. What a wild ride this episode's been so far. Let's see how. Uh, let's see how this game goes. Hopefully, we don't get an immediate forfeit. I would like a full game if if possible. We got a good 50 50 off the kickoff. Just a front flip into it. Good fish going for the shot. Close. This is still dangerous. He could still shoot it. So now I can go in and push up. I wanted to pass on my teammate, but he moved all the way back. And let's make a couple more touches into the corner. Doug is being very, very defensive. It's a good, it's a good uh, attempt. But you, you can see how quickly the opponents can jump on that ball that I don't want to challenge. 
a little bit too much. <laughs> too much sauce. Good challenge. Good boom. Move behind my teammates. Moving up the ranks though, so we're almost platinum, which players are getting a lot faster, you can see. Um, if you watch my one one pro versus or one Super Sonic Legends uh, versus uh, seven platinums, it's getting close to aerial game here. So make a 50 50. Hopefully, my teammate can move forward. It's be pretty dangerous. It's gonna be a finish too, because my teammate was a little bit too far away. He wasn't really supporting me. He said sorry. It's all good. No problem, man. So make a decent 50 50. I obviously could have beaten that 50 50 a lot better, but I don't want to. I, I feel like I've this episode so far, I've been very, very accurate with my flips and stuff, and I think I need to uh, style. <laughs> Interesting. I guess that was style. It's a pretty scary situation. Good defense for my teammate. Good for him to cut in front. Uh, Nug is gone now. It's a good pass attempt. Okay, it's cutting in front, which is a little bit da uh, dangerous that if I went, but... Try to pass it around. My teammate was pretty close. Okay. <laughs> what happened to this guy, though? This has been the... Okay, this is even weirder than that one episode. I think it was episode... Uh, 11 or 12? <laughs> I don't know, man. The Nug's gone. I don't really want to score while he's here. Or while he's gone here. But my teammate might finish it off. And there it is. What happened to him? He's back. You know what? For sportsmanship, I will give a goal back. Teammate's doing pretty good, though. I think he doesn't understand that I was doing that on purpose. But I wanted to make sure it was a fair game. He was gone. <laughs> Maybe his mom was calling him or something. But we're jumping back into this. We're down a goal. We'll, we'll try to get this back and make sure we set up our teammate pretty nicely. Or at least uh, back him up as well on his play. Good play. Should go for the 50-50 here as last man. The early flick is not good because he, uh, he can force that player into a bad 50-50. And then... Uh, that way, I have a free shot on net. So pop off the corner here and then pop it towards net. Nice try on the save. So there I just make it, I push around the player who's challenging right there to the left and then I shoot to the right. Um, it's a very, very common strategy. And I didn't even shoot that strong. So I don't think that was like that difficult. It was pretty high up, but sometimes an aerial from the floor is better than off the wall there for that. Whoever was trying to defend that ball. We got pretty close. He can stay with this. Once again, force a 50-50 here. You can be in a good position. A little bit of a good bump. Once again, just pop off the wall first. Then try to go for the shot. Those can uh, really throw off the def defense a lot of the times. Alright, I'll pass this left to my teammate. See if he comes in. Kind of baited him there because the other guy is pretty close to the ball. Here, I kind of popped it mid for them. That's okay, though. Good follow. I'll get in mid for good fish here. See if we can get a play. Good defense. Once again, I can tell that that ball's a pretty good pass if there's no one there. But since someone is there, I back off. And those are the kind of things that are going to set you apart from like lower level players. If you just barrel into those every single time, you're going to be uh, finding yourself getting scored on a lot more. Because you're just over committing when you don't need to. I'm going to pass this back to my teammate. Really good positioning to be ready for that. And Nug is gone again. So I'm going to wait for him to be back. Oh, there he is. Okay. Pop it over the one. I might have a clear here, so I'm going to move back. Good try on the fake from him as well. I could try to shoot this. Great shot. Nice play there. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this guy, but this little guy, but he's been disappearing here and there in the game. I'm trying not to play when he's gone, so then my teammate can just 1v1 the, guy, the other guy, but... It is what it is. This episode's been very, very strange. I'm trying to still bring tips into it, but so far the gameplay has just been kind of... All over the place. So right here, I don't have to go all the way back from mid or back corner boost, but he's about to clear the ball down. Clears it down here, and this is where you can wait on this on this wall for the ball to come to you. No rush, no need to boom it away. You can see they're waiting there. Now I can get a flick because I have position in a good spot. My teammate wants to move up. Okay, he missed. That's okay though. So right here, I'm gonna get a flick again early. That quick little boost into it. Good save. Good play. So I think we're doing pretty good to make like decent, decent touches and stuff. 
don't want to do too much once again. Great boom from my teammate. This is a good one to try for. I kind of took it away from my teammate. This actually could be a goal. Unless they mess it up. And they did. <laughs> so, I didn't want to like shoot that too strong. Obviously, I could have just... Oh. I could have just shot that really, really accurately at, at my rank. But I'm trying to do stuff that like I would say you should go for. But you might not quite have the mechanics yet for it. Okay, I, I realize that that was me really bad if I don't touch that again. So, whoa! <laughs> what the heck? I, in all of my 11,000 hours of Rocket League, I don't think I've seen that. Okay, they passed it right to me. This is a good play here. You don't have to aerial for this. You can wait for the boom. Just kind of go towards target. Teammates coming in, which is good. Getting ready for that boom. That actually might just... Yep, that's in. So we already have a goal anyway, but that's a good to, to secure that game. That 50-50 could not have went better. So well played by my teammate. We're actually getting carried by him. So you know what? They can't. You can't say I, I look like a smurf here. I feel like... Oh, and he's gone. Well, that should be the end of this game. Definitely the best game so far out of the ones we've played. And the most gameplay. Alright, so another forfeit. I think we're actually super close to uh, Platinum 1. Let's see if we can make it in this episode. Not quite. We're still we're still Division 3 here, so we still got one or two games more at least. Before we even think about getting close to Plat 1. Now we got a full lobby of PS4 players. So no one can see my my uh, my avatar at least. Alright, so I got some room here. I'm going to stay with the ball. The guy's not moving off kickoff, so I'm just going to pop it towards net. I'll, sa I'll save it. Just because that was a little bit rude. The guy's not moving. Good pop. So that baited in the opponent. I'm not sure where the other guy is. He kind of just left immediately. He's back. He's live. Good save. Right here, clear to the corner behind the players attacking. They're going to expect a shot towards goal. So if I just stay uh, with that in mind. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to get in, in this mess. I really don't want to get in this mess. I'm just going to wait behind. Wait for them to pop off the wall and then we can make a challenge. Teammates in an uh, awkward position, but I'll move behind. I have a double. It's okay. Oh. Okay, I thought my teammate was going to move out of the way and then I was going to go for the 50-50, but I didn't want to bump into him and then we ended up just getting dunked on. <laughs> That's okay though. Because that'll hide the fact that we're, you know, actually a top 10 player. Getting dunked on by a goal. That's okay though get the right mid boost. I got lots of time for this position. It's a good play mid too and this is definitely an open goal that anyone should be scoring if you just drive up to that and boost up. Um, people are saying wow. What, is ha what just happened? Was that impressive? <laughs> okay that was impressive I guess. I don't, I don't know. Let's move on. Great pass. Oh bit of a miss. This gives me space to get the mid boost. Let's see, oh, Goat Scott. He threw the ball away with that touch. It's a good clear. I got room to stay behind. Oh, my teammate touches it, so I want to back off. Okay, that's a t that's a throw away from them. Right here, once again, use that strategy where you hit it off the wall first, then pop it up. Close on the shot. Pop it up again, make them panic. They're jumping, but they're not really sure what they're going for. Okay, I'm letting my teammate go first. That's why I'm backing off like that. It's good to show your body language too. Um, that you are. Oh, this could. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna say that's just rolling in. Um, it's good to show your body language when you're in solo queue too, to let your teammate know that you're not going. If you kind of linger there, um, and don't move back, they might think you're gonna go. Sort of how I'm approaching when I my teammates in front of me. But we're only one goal up, and they seem already disheartened. I'm not sure why. Wait for Brendan to touch the ball first. He gives it right to me. And he makes the goal. So I didn't really do too much there. I just sat on the wall and the ball kind of popped off of it. Uh, my teammate came in and barreled through and made the shot. There we go. Two's better than one. <laughs> so far so good though. We've uh, we've had some better matches in the, the later half of this episode. No, not really quick forfeits. We are kind of getting it running away with this game so far, though. 
Great touch of the corner. Wait again for my teammate. Okay, he got scared. Pop up the corner. I'll just drive back. Wait for them to make it clear or something. Pops the middle to my teammate. Good to pop off the corner. That's okay. It kind of gives the ball away, but there's a free space to make this boom now. Once again, those high clears are so dangerous. I can see my teammate can follow. Nice try on the shot. Once again, just looping wide a little bit. A little bit further turned over to the side. You'll be able to get that on target. Avoiding the demo there. And then blocking. I'm just going to pop this middle like this. Teammates went all the way back for boost. So I'm just going to loop behind him because then he can come in for this touch. Now I'm in middle for this. Okay, the guy brushed it really, really fast. But Let's see if my teammate, teammate tried to go for that, but it's too close to them. At that point, you need to realize that it's off target or off any chance of actually being a goal. Okay, I'll just pop this again. See if my teammate wants to go for it. It's a good try. <laughs> I gotta blend in. Blend in. Be one with the golds. One with the golds. I think I'm doing a good job. Am I doing a good job? Let me know. Probably not. Alright, I'm gonna get behind uh, my teammate. Good try in the aerial. Right here, I see that the opponent's trying to make a challenge. I'm gonna pop off the corner. Good try here. Gonna pop it off the backboard once again. Just keep setting my team up until he get a shot on target. <laughs> no luck so far. Once again, I see that ball bouncing in mid. I can be there first. Brendan's a little bit lost, and there's the shot. Nice job. So I'm I'm playing a step ahead by being in that midfield and waiting for the ball to to bounce off the wall. We got another forfeit. So this this episode's moving a lot quicker here. I think I'm doing a little bit too much. I might be need, to, need to slow down. I'm not really doing a lot of work, though. I think my teammates are mostly carrying me. As you can see, he's actually MVP. So maybe my centered balls are allowing him to pop off a little more. But I'm just kind of being a reliable teammate and not really barreling in, which I guess is what golds do. <laughs> so, so maybe I am not being uh, too undercover here. But I think this will be the last game of the episode. Uh, we're still gold 3 Division 3 after that match. So quite a, tre a trek ahead of us to get into Platinum. But I expect that we'll probably be Platinum uh, 1 or 2, or maybe even 3 at the upper end before the season ends. Um, I'll probably record an episode or two before the season resets. Uh, I got a lot more planned though this week. Uh, another custom map coming out tomorrow. And uh, just so much more. Just uh, always thinking of stuff. Good boom downfield. That's really good. we waiting for Manaya kill. Both of them are in the corner. Now my teammate can challenge. Wait for Gungan here. Now I have free space on this touch off the corner. This is a good chance here when it rolls in mid. They're watching it pretty good though. So I'm going to wait in mid. Stay with the ball. Pop it up. This could be good. Good save though. You can see people are getting a lot better at defense. That's the throwaway. He's still going to stay with it though. See how I just sit where the ball is going to be instead of panicking about where the ball is. Just watch where it's going to bounce. And that might take time to get used to but... Alright, that's fine. Teammates a little bit far. Hop over two. I'll rush over to this boost too, because then it forces them to have to go back. That's a good chance for us. He might actually miss too. Wow. Yeah, we're getting really fortunate with these pinches off these uh, 50 50s. That's a good challenge from him too. This is a late challenge from, uh, I don't even want to say that his, his name. I'm just going to call, call, call him Troll. But, great play by my teammate. I'm going to wait behind. It's a, bit of a, uh, a little bit of a hesitation from my teammate on that kickoff. I'll definitely beat this guy. Right here, I'm going to try and pop this middle. So Jar Jar is pretty far, but he's going to try for the aerial. He's getting set up. It's a good, good try. Once again, pop it to behind them. Now we have some space in the corner. I'll pop it up high. See if my teammate can get in there. Close. All right, so I'll wait behind. Wait for my teammate to rotate out. I get clear like this. That's fine. It's good enough. At the higher level, you want to do a full rotation back, but it's not the end of the world if you just cut that off. All right, teammates behind me now. I can challenge. Troll still got it. Grab this boost if I can. I did steal it. Good of my teammate to rotate behind. There should be maniacals here. 
So once again, I just wait because uh, he's trying to clear it when I'm not even on the ball. Good save from them. It's going to be a troll's ball here. Once again, it's a bit awkward. Troll could probably make a pop. So I'll pop it over one and two because he's too close. And here I'm just going to pop it off backboard. Good save by Troll. He's moving a lot quicker now. So you're going to move behind. Just roll behind the ball. Moving a little bit too quickly, so I'm just trying to slow it down. Get my Mania kill here. Teammate jumped in pretty early, so I don't want to challenge yet. I want to fake this. Move behind again. I'm kind of jumbled all over the place, but that's okay. Good clear down field. I was going to say, good clear down field, and uh, then it was a redirect off of one of the players, so... Jar Jar carrying me once again. Actually, never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, he's got both the goals, but for, I think I'm doing too much. Honestly, I haven't recorded one of these episodes in a while, and I think I'm moving a little bit too quickly. So we're going to slow down the pace. Good boom there. It's a good play. Good de defensive hit, uh, hit there as well. So got some space on the sidewall. Obviously, don't jump off the wall like that. I'm just trying to trying to be a little more undercover <laughs> all right good play good touch i want to be, make sure i try to defend that my teammate now we got some space i think i'm just getting saves like that which is giving me a lot of points good try my teammate so now i'm going to try and stall for him as long as possible so let the ball roll up here i'm just going to stay with it and there we go my teammates already successfully gotten behind me Bit of a bump for my teammate, or the opponent. This ball might roll in mid. Good save. Good touch my teammate too. Alright, so I'm going to get behind. Wait for the touch again. I'll let him touch it, that's fine. I'll get behind him. Good play. Jarger -Jar should be able to get this middle. Uh, so I'll wait right here. He might just even wait for it. There we go, good. That was good. He could have just waited for that ball, honestly, instead of touching it. Because then it gets away from him, from that touch. I think he was just worried that there was going to be someone there. But that pinch across is, is enough for me to score that. I was waiting in mid for that to cross the net. It's a great play by him. So, really good setups for my teammate. Really good goals. And good save there. Oh. It's a good clear. So, I'm going to wait behind here. I'm going to probably let them get a shot. He kind of missed it, though. He missed as well. It's a good shot. There we go. Yeah, I felt I felt like we haven't really let any goals in this episode. Uh, I think that's because I was just like making too many clears and stuff. Actually, I did get dunked on. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair. So you know what? Never mind. Scratch that. Only 27 seconds left, though. This should be pretty much the end of this episode. Um, what do you guys think of the, of the series so far? I, I, like, let me know if I need any uh, need to improve anywhere on like how I'm helping you guys at your rank. Maybe you have any questions uh, in the chat in the uh, comments on uh, specific things in your rank, and I can try to address them when I'm at that rank. But so far, so so good. I think we're we're starting to climb a little bit faster because the games are getting a little more competitive, and I can actually start moving around the field and making, you know. A little more touches that I'm used to. But uh, until next time, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, and we're Division 4. <laughs>